Folks, before we head to Bloomfield, Little Italy, Mr. Dentici and I are working on a number of things, including that Heinz ketchup recipe. You're going to hear it, that Heinz steak ketchup recipe, all next week, right here on News Radio 1020 KDK. Because I know a lot of you folks via social media wanted it, but well, you're going to be able to hear it all next week. Also, this weekend, lots of stuff to get to. Steve Bannon is out as the chief White House strategist. A lot of folks talking about that. More on these monuments, these Confederate monuments, really was a buzz today on the phones on the Mike Pintech show. We're going to discuss that in uh, length, too, as well. Now, Pirates got beat by St. Louis last night. That series continues tonight at PNC Park. Get to the ballpark, and if you can't, you can listen to 93.7 The Fan or even take your radio to the ball game. Always a great way to watch it at PNC Park. And, of course, Steelers news. They're in camp. they got a preseason game, 4 o'clock Atlanta. Heinz Field, KDK TV 2 Sunday. Big story just breaking. Le'Veon Bell supposedly has turned on a whole lot of cash. Steelers about five years, close to $30 million. He said not enough. So that's been rejected. So we're going to talk about that. All of that stuff in the way of sports on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday Show at 11. But Mr. Dentici is here because the Coons Cooking Show this week is Great American Classics. And speaking of Heinz Ketchup, a little dab on a meatloaf is a perfect American Classic. But when you think American Classics, Joe, what do you think? Meatloaf, number one. Right. How's that? And, uh, I love meatloaf. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, all the different hamburgers, roast beef, uh, just a conglomeration of all the different ethnic backgrounds that we have. And we put them all together, that's American class. One of the greatest ethnic backgrounds of all time, hunkies, as in those who worked in the mills. And Mr. Orvitz, who was shooting this, grew up in Beaver County, New Brighton, a place that is famous. Am I not right? You're right. Hunky Alley. So let's talk some Hunky Alley food. What would that be? What would you think? Well, I would think uh, kielbasa, sauerkraut, uh, sausages, uh, uh, all the heavy foods with potatoes, a lot of potatoes, home fries. That's, that's uh, you know, I don't like the term monkey. How about pool, Chazette? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, too. But back in New Brighton and Judge Jimmy Ross, who I'm sure may be watching this right now, he would definitely understand that he grew up there, too. Great place, great stuff, great American classics. So, how about a hamburger hot dog, or is that American What's, classic? I would say that that's American classic. Is it? Sure. Okay. Well, where else would a hot dog have come from? Could spaghetti be American classic? Uh, well, it has, a, has, a, has an Italian background, but it's an American classic now. Okay. I just realized something. This is how I eat every day. All right. We're off to Bloomfield, Little Italy Days. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen, from your Pat Pat.